Hey guys, Seth with Skynet Drone Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be going over the DJI Motion 2 controller. We're gonna be doing basic functionality of this remote and how do we use it to operate the Avada aircraft. That's all we're gonna be covering. We're not gonna be delving into the head tracking movements and pairing that with this. That'll be for another video. Today, we're just gonna talk about how do we use this to operate the Avada. Okay guys, so let's go over the buttons and the functions of the remote. So if we turn it around over here, this is our power button. This is how we're gonna turn on and off the aircraft. Once, twice, hold it down. That's gonna power on or off the aircraft. This is going to be our throttle and our reverse. We pull it in, that's our throttle. We push it out, that's reverse. Rotating around here, this is gonna control the altitude of the aircraft. So if we just push up, the aircraft will go straight up Pull down the aircraft will go straight down now we also control the pitch of the aircraft by doing that up and down so if we were to have the accelerator pressed in and we were pulling up on the joystick and we also pushed up on that we're gonna get a much higher rate of climb same thing if we were to have the remote angled down pull the accelerator in and then pull down on this, we're gonna have a much steeper rate of descent. Coming over here, this is gonna be our uh, mode select from normal to sport and then to manual. Manual is a mode you guys will have to set up in the goggles itself. This is going to be our emergency stop. This is going to be how we turn the propellers on and off and also how we take off and land this orange button. Coming around over here, this is gonna operate the camera. This is gonna be video photo select just to start the video process or take a snapshot. Up here, this wheel is going to activate a menu inside the goggles if you click it in. And then we're gonna scroll through the menus while we're inside the goggles themselves. Now, the way that we control the direction of flight of this aircraft is with this. So we're gonna have, we're turning just like we would a flight stick. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna do is touch the orange button twice to turn the aircraft on. Then we're gonna press it once and hold it down to take off. And as you guys can see, if I raise this toggle up, the aircraft will rise. If I push this toggle down, it'll descend. And I can also control the pitch of the aircraft using just angling my wrist. And I'm gonna show you a combination of both. So if I angle up and push on that, we'll get a little bit higher rate of ascent. And it's the same as if I'm descending. So if you see that I'm just rolling my wrist like this, that's how we're going to operate the aircraft. The whole thing is just hand movements and you can add a little bit of toggle for some ascent. Steeper rate of climb. It's gonna do the same thing if I angle it down and push that toggle down. Now the way I like to fly guys, I usually use just the nose and angling my hand like that to kind of um, adjust the rate of climb and descent, just because I find it easier, but you're, you can obviously use that toggle to get a much faster rate of ascent and descent. But you can see how much fun it is to navigate through even just an area like this. It's just unbelievably addictive. If you guys pick one of these up, you definitely will not regret it. All right, let's bring it in. All 
All right, guys, that's it. I hope you got a better understanding of how to use the DJI Motion 2 controller to pilot the Avada aircraft. I think if you guys give this remote a chance, you'll be blown away with how instinctive it is to use. Um, stay tuned, hit the like, hit the subscribe because in the next few days we're going to be going over linking the Integra's head tracking with this remote. And then we're going to be doing just an Integra goggle review, pairing the Integra goggles with the Mavic 3 line, some thermals. In the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot coming out, guys. So make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there and we'll see you guys really soon.